waxy potatoes tend to have a lower starch content and a higher moisture content. They often tend to be creamier, uh, firmer, and more thin skin than starchy potatoes. They're ideal for situations where you want the potato to hold their shape, because that's what they're best for. They're good for roasting, they're good for things like potato salad, which is what we're going to show you today. A very simple recipe that we're going to do today. I've washed our potatoes. We have about a pound and a half of finger length potatoes. Now these, we're going to cut them up and then we're going to roast them off. We're going to toss them in a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and then put them in the oven. Whenever you're making a potato salad or something along those lines, you always want to keep in mind the bite size. You don't want you to cut your potato larger than you are able to fit on a spoon easily. You don't want it to be a huge potato. You don't want to pick up. You don't want to pick up something like that and try to have somebody put it in their mouth. It just doesn't work. So we're going to cut these down. So we have our potatoes. We're going to have a little bit of salt, a little pepper, and a little olive oil. You want them nicely coated. We're going to put them on our sheet tray in a single layer. This is going to go into a 350 degree oven until they're done. Let them go 15 minutes, check them. Let them go another, if they're not ready, if they're not done, let them go five minutes, check them. Let them go five minutes, check them. Just keep an eye on them. It's going to go right in the oven now. If you wanted to, you could just easily boil these. They would still be good. I like to roast them because I think it adds depthness of flavor to a sometimes boring potato salad. I don't want it to taste kind of like, you know, carton of potato salad you get at your local deli. Now we're just gonna set up and cut up the rest of the ingredients for the potato salad. When you're making your potato salad, you can put anything you want into it. Um, your standard issues are onion, celery, peppers. And so I'm gonna keep mine simple and just kind of follow that, that mantra. So we got some red pepper, we have some red onion, we have some parsley, we have some horseradish, a little bit of celery, some chives, some Dijon mustard, and some mayonnaise. Those are going to be my main ingredients along with some seasoning that I'll show you guys in a minute. You always want to take these ribs out. They're just not very tasty. So we cut up our mise en place. We small diced everything here because we don't want this to become the focal point of the dish. It's a potato salad, so your potatoes should be the largest thing. These are gonna be accompaniment. And now we wait for the potatoes to fit in. Let's check our potatoes. They look pretty good. Give one a squeeze. Out, they're hot, careful. Chicken, whatever. If you like potato salad, you can see how easy it is to make your own rather than just 
just going out and buying some from the deli. It's going to be a whole lot better. Enjoy, guys. Keep on eating. And remember, when you cook, we eat together. Hey guys, looking for more? Looking to up your cooking skills? Then be sure to click subscribe so you can follow me while I break down techniques, dish out succulent tips, and show you a variety of recipes for you to learn from so you can not only keep on eating, but eat deliciously. Check out some of the other videos I got for you guys to watch.